Uh, let's see some examples of this, how we can express needs in different ways. You have this sheet which has on the front of it, it says need conflicts, expressing our needs, you messages and I messages. Now a you message is a message that we, in which we criticize the other person. That is, we say to the other person, you're insensitive, you're lazy, you're evil, you're unjust. That is, we we categorize the other person. We say to the, to the other person something that we believe about them. And it's usually an accusation. It's usually a criticism. In an I message, I don't characterize the other person, but I simply express what I need. So that's the difference between an I message and a you message. Okay? Let's look at what it says here. We can express our needs as complaints, accusations, or simply as needs we would like to have respected and fulfilled. We could also threaten those who not comply with our needs or punish them by being aloof and not giving them our attention. Thus, some ways in which we can express ourselves are through the following roles. One, as a complaint from the role of the victim, as an accusation or criticism from the role of the interrogator. Three, as a simple explanation of what we need and how we feel when the other does not respond. This communication is from the role of the adult and is the basis of effective communication. We are not giving specific examples of how the roles of the aloof or the intimidator communicate because the aloof tends not to communicate with words and the intimidator will threaten in different ways depending on the situation. So we have here, the poor me, that it's your fault, that is, the complaint from the role of the victim. In the second column, we have, you are not okay, that is, the criticism from the interrogator. And in the third column, I need, because otherwise I feel and cannot. These are the three things that we communicate in an I message. First of all, we communicate what we need. Secondly, we communicate how we feel when we don't get what we need. And third, we express what practical problems are created when we don't get what we need. Let's look at some of these examples. The complaint. You agree to do something and then you do not do it. This is the complaint. This is the victim. The criticism. You are irresponsible, you are immature. The I message from the role of the adult. I need for you to keep our agreements because when that does not happen, practical problems are created and I also feel injustice and resentful. So we're expressing three things here. What I need, I need the person to keep his agreements. Why do I need it? For two reasons. First of all, practical problems are created and secondly I feel injustice and resentment I feel unhappy okay so we can tell the other person that I feel angry I feel hurt we're not going to keep our emotions in we're going to express our emotions to the other person but without accusing without threatening without criticizing let's see another example let's take number C you do not pay it you do not pay attention to me when I am talking to you. The criticism. You are insensitive and uncaring. The I message. I need your attention when I talk to you so that I can feel that you care for me and also that, so that we can communicate on some matters which are important to me. So three things this person is saying. I need you to pay attention. So it's a very simple need. I don't have to say you're insensitive, you're a bad person. I need your attention. Secondly, why do I need your attention? Because only then do I believe that we can communicate. And thirdly, when you don't pay attention, I feel that you don't care for me. 
Okay, so how I feel, what I need, and why I need it. Let's go on. <clears throat> we'll, we'll get to that now. You do not share what you are feeling with me. This is the complaint, the criticism. You are so egotistical and do not care about me. The I message. This would be an I message to an aloof person, okay? So if you have an aloof person in your life, you may want to give this message. I need to know what you are feeling and thinking so that I can feel that we are together in this relationship and that you trust and respect me or else I feel very lonely and sometimes I feel that I have done something wrong. It's very simple. It's so simple to say these things. What's the problem? I'm exposing my weakness. I'm exposing my need. I'm saying that I'm not this super strong person who doesn't need anything. I am forced to express the fact that I have weaknesses, I have needs, and that I can be hurt. This is very difficult for many people because they, they feel that if I say this, then the other person realizes that I need him or need her, then they're going to take advantage of this. You see, So we have this fear of expressing our needs, of expressing our weaknesses or our fears. And this is a major obstacle to communication. So rather than saying, you know, I need you, I say, you're no good. I either get into the role of the, of the victim saying, oh, you're doing so much, much, and I'm unhappy and you're responsible for my unhappiness. I just say, you know, you're insensitive, you're a slob, you're irresponsible. And then I don't say what's really happening. What's really happening is that I'm hurt, that I'm fearful, that I have needs. And this is why people can't communicate. Because rather than expressing the truth, and the truth will be much more acceptable to the other person, we find the easy way of complaining or of criticizing or of accusing. Now, let's go on to the next one. You do not clean up after yourself. You are so selfish and such a slob. What's the I message? I need your help in cleaning the house because I cannot relax when it is not. When you do not help out, I feel that you are not respecting my needs and then I feel injustice, rejection, hurt, and anger. Okay, so what's this person's need? Help in cleaning, keeping a clean and in order house. Why does he need that? Because he can't relax when it's not clean. How does he feel when it, he doesn't get this help? He feels hurt, he feels injustice, he even feels anger, you see? So this can be, this need for help in keeping a house clean or in order can be either be from the role of the victim, oh, I'm the victim, I have to do everything, you don't love me, and I'm the victim here. Or it can be an accusation, you're a slob, you're insensitive. Or it can be, I have this need. Now, because we express the need, it doesn't mean that the other person has to respond. Because he may have other needs. He says, well, I understand your need, and I love you, and I care for you, but I have other priorities in my life. And I don't know why I should have to live my life according to the fact that you can't relax. I can relax. So would you like to find another solution here? You see, so simply because we make an I message doesn't mean that the other person op uh, uh, has to uh, re react or, or correspond. And then what we do is we start communicating to see how we're going to find a solution for what is called a, a, con a, need, uh, a conflict of needs.